Hello everyone and welcome to Pen Dragon, given to me by Inkly Inkle Ltd. I don't know how to pronounce the company name, I do apologise. Um, so from what I gather, this should be like a turn-based RPG, potentially. And it is based around the Arthurian legend, which I am a huge fan of. So I can't wait to get started on this. Oh wow, that was a bit loud. Britain, AD 673. Camelot has fallen. No, not Camelot! Don't call! The jealous Sir Mordred has broken the fellowship of the Round Table. The Knights of Arthur have scattered and all hope seems lost. Oh, please no. Who will keep the dream of Camelot alive? Me? Who will keep the dream of Camelot alive? Queen Guinevere of Camelot, the gracious wife of Arthur, unfaithful and yet ever loyal. Sir Lancelot du Lac, Arthur's chivalrous best friend and traitor to him. Guys, if you if you don't know the Arthurian legend, I won't spoil it for you. But yeah, you need to look into this. Um, a force for evil. I'm gonna guess that's Morgan, Morgana. A powerful song, a swordstress. That. Maybe oh I've forgotten a name. A loyal brother. A roguish knight. A prophet and maniac. Merlin. A broken man. And a terror of the woods. I am going to go with Guinevere because wherever I can play as a female, I will choose to do so. It's just a preference. I have nothing against playing as a man, but I prefer to play as a woman where I can. It's a bit more um it relates to me better. Sunset on the first day, at the nunnery of the Holy Bell, lightning flashes through high and narrow openings. For a moment it illuminates the face of disgraced Queen Guinevere, who kneels in silent prayer. Then a moment later, she is on her feet. It is as though her name has been called from across the length of Britain. Oh, oh, we're starting now. Oh, wow. Arthur. Arthur, I'm coming. Characters move across one square at a time. Try moving forward. Okay, so it's a clicky one. Ah, achievement! First steps! Ow! Guinevere, the gracious wife of Arthur, unfaithful and yet ever loyal. Owning squares. As characters move across the board, they take ownership of the squares they pass. Okay. The nunnery of the Holy Bell has sheltered Guinevere since her escape from Camelot, but she cannot stay. My lady, what are you doing? I'm walking. That's not... That's a dead end, isn't it? Can I go on you still? Sister Rosalind, I have to go. Go? But my lady, where will you go? Go this way, that's what I'll do. Mordred and Arthur, they are to meet one last time, and their battle will decide the fate of the kingdom. Did you just shrug a battle? Whatever do you mean? Change stance. Changing your stance. Characters change stance to move that. Ah, oh, okay. Arthur is to meet Mordred at Camlane in the far north. There have been rumours of it, even here. I will have to tell the abbess. You do that then. Diagonal steps also take ownership of touching squares. Okay. Don't tell the abbess. No one must know where I'm going. Please, Sister Roswin. You ask too much of me. You mustn't think about these things anymore. You are with God now. Get ready to run. Characters can run forwards through territory they own, but only in linear stance. Mordred has an army, and Arthur has none. He fights alone. I cannot let him die like that. Uh oh, she's coming. 
you're determined to go to him? You must really love him. Oh, if only we knew. I have no choice, Sister Roswin. He is my husband. Oh, she's taking my squares. Then may God go with you, Guinevere. And I won't tell the abbess anything. Have I not that right? Oh, she disappeared. With that, the young nun turns and hurries from the hall. That was an interesting little gameplay there. Sunset on the first day, the Covenant Stables. The stable yard is drenched in rain. The nuns are busy observing vespers. The stable hands have gone home to their children in Cameron's village. There is no one to see Gunnivis slip away. I need to steal a horse. Higher ground. Guinevere's on higher ground from here. She can move in any direction. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, I don't like the sound there. I've never stolen anything before. It's exciting. Your marrow went up. Moral, not marrow. Moral is shown top left and it will keep you fighting when the odds are against you. I really hate that squelchy sound. The best will pray for my forgiveness, I hope. Oh, I heard something. Then Guinevere freezes. She has heard movement from across the yard. There's someone here. Definitely something here. I love the zoom in there. Creeping through the dark. Oh, nice dog though. Hi, doggy. Oh. Wait, how do I... Oh, go back on. I have no idea what that is. Snarl. Don't you snarl at me, mister. A wolf, perhaps? Loose me, Abby. Ooh. Oh, Tan. It is only the aged Covenant Hound Tan, left unchained to wander the ground at night. You startle me. Don't growl at me. Retreat. Sometimes retreat is the best option. I've never seen you like this before. Well, bad as before there. The dog snarls. I really hate that squashy sound. You don't want to bite me, do you? Oh, maybe he does. Moran danger. After a time, your marrow will begin to ebb when you play defensively. If Moral hits zero, your heroes will flee. Let's have a look. The dog, Camellia Stance, can charge forwards through own squ squares and attack. Okay. Wait, how do I? This is ridiculous. Little creature, I am the Queen of Britain. And you? You are a dog. A little yappy dog. And if I have to, I will run you through. Oh wow, poor doggy. The spears flashes. Tan winds carefully and dashes away. He's gone. I suppose I'm on my own after all. I feel like a little girl sneaking out. Climbing the hill behind our castle to watch the soldiers. I could have married any of them, but I had to choose after. There are the horses. Guinevere hurries over to Meadow, who is cropping at a nosebag. She smiles with cold delight. You Guinevere or the horse? Steady now, Meadow. It's only me. Gain two rations. Meadow's saddlebag contains some bread and cheese. Enough for two rations. Okay, so I have to keep Guinevere fed, I'm guessing. 
Zoom. I need your sure-footedness, Mer Merwin? No, Meadow. This road ahead leads into Code Can't Eat Your Fun. Oh my god, I am so sorry I glitched that. That was Welsh, wasn't it? People used to travel that way to reach the nunnery of the Holy Bell. Find your way through the dark for me, Meadow. Cause story. There is a path through the darkness. New ability. Push forward. Awesome. Charge one square further outside the terrible. Brilliant. I have to ask how old Winnebet actually is in this. Because I'm always used to seeing her like young and beautiful um, whenever she's portrayed in like movies and such. Um, in the book she's always portrayed as this beautiful woman with long flowing golden hair. It's, it's either golden or red hair that she's uh, pronounced with. And this time it's brown. So I'm gonna, hold on, we've gotta go, we're going here I'm guessing. The forest bordering Cameron's village. That's gonna make sense. I like the, oh god, chickens. I really do like the art style. I can't fault it. It's like, um, it reminds me a lot of church windows. It has been hours since Compline? Compline? And Guinevere is hungry from the road. Rations increase. There we go. Guinevere stops to eat and we're some strength. There we go. I wonder if this is all hand drawn. It reminds me a bit of a pop up book, to be honest. They break on the second day. I'm not going to pronounce that. Between Covent Sales and Cameron's Village lies the dark sprawl of. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. An ancient forest full of strange things. And Guinevere rides on in. I like the music as well, and I love the. I'm free! I love the, um, the ambience. The ambience is really nice in this game, too. Disarmed. In diagonal stances, you move faster and claim territory, but you can't attack should any threats appear. The sisters at the convent were kind enough, but... Convent. Why do I keep changing words? I'm hardly the type to make a good nun. Swing stance for now. Good nuns don't have Norman lovers. <laughs> I wonder where you are now, Lancelot. Uh-oh. Hello, bear. I heard something. Yeah, I did too. Make some progress. Try running forwards through the squares you own. I'm coming off as fast as I can. The nuns always said there were things in these woods. It seems they weren't just telling stories to keep the younger sisters inside. Only forward. Hero characters can only charge to the right towards the end square. Enemy characters only charge to the left away from the end square. Okay. Now then. Not too hard to trick a bear. Stay calm and let them come to you. Oh, there's two. Hello. <laughs> oh, wow. She heard what I said. Hold your nerve. You can hold past the turn without moving, but hold too long and your morale will suffer. Okay. I'm a little closer now. Don't be shy. Guinevere breathes quietly. Her eyes stay fixed on the bear. Let's try one more time. I don't know if this is bad news or not. Arthur was always like a bear, but then Lancelot was more like a goat. <laughs> I can't imagine Lancelot being like a goat. I really can't. No, I can't do that. The rain shows no sign of stopping. I was hoping to loop around. I don't know if I'm going to do this, guys. Don't get tangled in your own feet, Jenny. 
Another bear moves in on Guinevere. This may end your journey. Oh, oops. Um, <sighs> the bear strikes and Guinevere collapses. Well done, mate. God damn it. The bears collect around the body of Guinevere and begin to devour it. There is no one left to find. Well, the dream of Camelot is over. No. <laughs> Oh no! That wasn't supposed to happen! Oh, what's this? Queen Guinevere of Camelot was defeated. Fallen on the second day. Uh, okay, this is just going through. This is just going through everything I was said. Arthur, I, I will always be sorry. didn't go too well. Successful run to unlock higher difficulty level. Okay. Huh. I don't think that went very successful. Okay. So let's have a look at Lancelot and see how well he does. So Lancelot learned his knightly skills sparring with seven brothers on a pig farm in northern France. He first put them to work when the farm was raided and Lancelot fought off the bandits with a fire poker. After that he roamed, finally meeting Arthur in a duel on a riverbank that lasted four days. He became the first knight of the round table, the strongest knight of the realm, Arthur's closest friend, and then he met Queen Guinevere. Let's try this one. I just realised I never read that kind of thing for Guinevere. Beside the banks of the river Wayne her. The ferryman pulls the barge close to the riverbank. A hooded passenger steps ashore before he can change his line. So do luck. Another vow broken. I cannot even keep my word to stay away from this ill-begotten country. I hope I'm not talking about my country. When the round table broke apart, Sir Lancelot fled to France, but a terrible vision has compelled him to return. Oh, hello. This is as far as I go, stranger. This is far enough, ferryman. From here, I will... And where exactly are you going, stranger? There will be a battle at Camlin, and I will be there to help win it. Very okay, sure of himself. Well now, is that a fact? I heard there were soldiers out looking for a French knight. That wouldn't be you, would it? Maybe. Maybe, baby. I advise you to hold your tongue, ferryman. Tongues are more precious than gold. You do not wish to lose yours. Oh, wow. I'm sure you can teach me all about that. That didn't sound right. I'm coming with you, naturally. Wait, what? Can't wait to knock a few knights off their pins with my pole. The name's Eli. Poor story, I am not alone. Choose an ability. Vault obstacle or fall back? What's fall back here? Retreat multiple squares across um territory? Jump over a block square. I'm gonna go with this one. New follower. We will make a knight of you. Let me do some thwacking and I'll be happy. <laughs> I love that word for some reason. I don't know why. I got my reasons to be doing this. Charge through water. Charge through water. There we go. Okay. So, we need to get them over here. Arthur, I will find you. I am your best friend. Or perhaps I am your very worst. I will train you to be a knight, Eli. You have great courage. We'll train him. 
I will train you to be a knight, Eli. I will make a great man of you. I have not tipped a boat over yet, Frenchman. More than that, I don't need. Near at hand, sir, Lancelot finds a horse hitched to a tree. He unhooks the reins. I'll call you Rowan. All, all speed, Rowan. There will be no turning back. Every time I said Rowan, I keep thinking of Viva La Dirt League, who are awesome, by the way. Shout out to Viva La Dirt League. Evelyn Tower? Dina Slav... I cannot pronounce places. I'm so sorry. Devlin's Valley. I can pronounce that. All right, where do I want to go? Varys? Devlin's Valley? Um, let's go here. Will it take me there? The village is old, but we should be able to buy some bread and cheese from the village. Okay. The village is old, but someone has set up camp by its stream. Okay. Let's go take a look. How far from Camlin are we? We'll be there in time. No you worth no use getting him a word. We've come too far to fail. Everyone fails, Frenchie. Our only choice is whether or not we try. Well, you are some pessimistic person, aren't you? Wait, do I even have any money? I don't know. Do I have money? That's the question I should be asking first. The first night in Devlin's Valley. Night falls and the rain keeps on. Beating the ground with its endless drumming. Fear creeps in. Oh, that's not good. Sir Lancelot does not know how long it is until Arthur and Mordred are to meet. Sir Lancelot and Eli make their way up to Devlin's Valley. I really like the name Eli. Who will lead? You can choose which of your party will be the first one to the field of battle. Um, Lancelot. What is that symbol? There's someone camped out here. They lit a fire. I want to go on this thing. I have no idea what that is. My centenars are washing away down here as the rain pours down. Really? Oh, hello. <laughs> Greetings. My name is Sir Conlon. The knight could strike me here. This may hurt Sir Lancelot. Okay, let's give it a go anyway. I remember you, of course, Sir Conlon. From Camelot. I am Sir Lancelot. You have come to join me, perhaps? You will ride to Arthur's aid by my side? You won't catch me. You won't. What the hell? What did I do? I don't want to put myself in harm's way. Do not test me, knight. The knight stumbles as he edges backwards. The knight reacts foolishly, raising his hatchet defensively. Eli! Sir, you're Lancelot himself, are you? Most noble person I ever took in my boat, I'm sure. Get away then. And the knight hurries away. Sir Lancelot sheaths his blade. We should sleep in safety here. Whoa! So beneath the wild heavens, a pair build a bonfire and warm their hands. Would you like me to tell your story? Oh no. I would love to hear your tale. I'm adding words that aren't even here. What would you hear? A story of a, of a most unusual knight? Or a tale of an ill-fated town? Hmm, tell me the second one. Campfire tale discovered. The town 
by the Lake by Emma Kate Campbell. Oh, is this a real one? There was once a town by a lake. Like all towns, it had its share of cruel and kind folk. Most were simply doing what they could to survive. Winter had fallen heavily on the town that year. People had turned inward to protect and provide for their families. The lake was frozen and empty of fish. That's not good. The woods nearby were deserted. The cold felt more bitter each night. I can picture it well enough, thank you. One icy day, a traveller came to the town. He came from the north, leading a donkey. Go on. The traveller knocked to the door of the first house in the town and asked for something to eat. The people inside turned him away. We have barely enough for ourselves, they said. The traveller tried again, knocking at a second door. The people turned him away once more. The traveller went from door to door each time with the same response, we do not have enough to share. Turning him away was the only thing to do. All of the people in the town certainly thought so, all but one. Finally, there was just one hut left, high on the hill by the road out of town. The traveller knocked on the door. A young girl answered and the traveller made his request for food. The girl offered him a heel of dark hard bread. It was the last piece of food left in I was reading that! Ugh. What kindness. She was certainly kind, even when she faced hardship herself. The traveller accepted the bread, thanked the girl and left the town. That very night, the ice on the lake cracked for the first time in months. With a great groaning noise, huge plates of ice crashed aside and swells of water rose from the lake. In no time at all, the water had swallowed every house in the town, every house but one. The only building left above water was her home, the young girl who had given away her last piece of food to a stranger. The lake now rolled right up to the hill. I can't keep up anymore. Oh. And now, in every season, they say that the lake is always full of fish. Game one ration. Among the houses, Sir Lancelot finds one extra meal. Brilliant. Mordred's men. They seem like ripe plots. They have given up everything for him. Their families, their loved ones, their friends. Their self-respect and honour. There is nothing left for them but this fight. It is the same with all roads. In their own hearts they have already lost. And so they fight with nothing to lose. That's the most dangerous kind of person actually. Then how do we beat them? If they will fight to their last breath like drowning rats. They feed on the bitter kind of hope. The hope that their sacrifices will not prove meaningless. We will take that hope away. Come. Who oh, are this got dark all of a sudden? The road beckons. So I want to know what happened to your eye. How did you get that scar? That's not explained in the game, is it? The forest of Listernays? The keep of Mahus. Mahus? Mahus. Let's go here. The road looks empty enough. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Weak, strong. Uh, Eli needs it more. There we go. I really like music. Oh my god. The music is such a good choice in this. Whoever chose the music, well done. In the forest of Listernays. The forest grows right up to the border of Devlin's Valley. An ancient path winds between the trees, marked out by white stones. It leads into darkness for a time, then the stones become lost in the undergrowth. 
There used to be the path through here long ago, leading all the way to the keep of Mahus. I'm pronouncing everything wrong now, aren't I? But now it's completely overgrown. I don't know what those symbols are. This reminds me of hunting in the woods near the farm in Bamboo as a child. All wild places are like this, out for blood. Oh. You okay, Lancelot? Bushes can be cut down to make progress. Bushes can be cut through in either linear or diagonal stance. Why do I keep thinking it's Lancelot taking... Let's clear Parker. Taking damage. And it's not Lancelot. He's relaxed again. What? Oh, do I need to? Oh, okay. I think I need to clear this one as well. So Lancelot slices through a thick bramble. I should be able to get through here now. You say that, but I kind of reached the other end. Oh, never mind. Where am I? Where, where am I going? Lancelot, you're confusing me, dude. Alright, let's, let's, let's. Alright, um. I think I broke the game a little. Can, can, can we go? Okay, I, I have no idea what I did wrong here. Oh, wait, hang on. I miss the old days. The joust, the tilting. It used to be fun to show one's arm. Get over here, Eli. We ride on. So, Lancelot and Eli leave the forest of Blisternays to resume their journey north. I'm going to have so many people commenting saying I'm destroying language here. I don't mean to. Alright, onwards to the Keep of Mohais. A gutted ruin. Oh, I love ruins and castles. This way. I love that ship that's rocking. I'm glad I'm not on it though. I get seasick so easily. And the Keep of Mohais. The stones of the keep of Mohais jut up from the heather covered slopes in disarray. The pair pack pick their way between broken beams and fallen pillars. It is as though a once proud castle had been blown over in a storm or swept aside by the stroke of a dragon's wing. <gasps> Are there dragons in this game? Inside the castle is a place of coiled ivy and broken stone. It looks like the um is this place a ruin did mordred burn it down if it looks like a ru who are you well now if it isn't the idiot lovesick frenchman oh lovely you are still bitter which ha i don't hate you little man i pity you you're like a hungry dog, always sniffing after food. I need your help, Morgana. What is it now? Have you fallen in love with a 16-year-old again? Oh, burn! Poor Lance with his resting, questing Lance. Always yearning for the Queen's most royal chamber. Oh, I love her. Your nephew Mordred burns the country. There is no time for this ribaldry. I don't like Mordred, certainly. Stuck up little vole. He fell from the rear of a horse. I ride to Camden to bring him down. Ride with me. Do some good for once. 
Ride with me if you wish, Morgana. But can I trust you, Morgana? Must I watch my back every step of the way? Oh, you can watch me or not watch. Sometimes men do. But if I mean you harm, you will not see me coming. Then I will trust you. If you wanted to destroy me, you would already have done it. There's no hurry. You'll die soon enough, I'm sure. Oh, she is lovely. Will you ride with me? I'll come see my nephew kill, certainly. <laughs> wow. I, for those who don't know, in some of the books I've read, Morgana is, well, it's actually implied here as well. Morgana is the sister of King Arthur. And in some tales, Morgana is actually the mother of Mordred, and King Arthur is the father of Mordred. You see what's happened here? But in other stories, um, Mordred is her nephew. Which means that Arthur and Guinevere's son is called Mordred. Whereas in some of her cases, Guinevere and Arthur had a son called Amir, which means beloved. And what happened is Arthur wanted Amir to see a battlefield when he was young to get used to everything. So when Arthur took Amir to the battlefield, Amir was slain, some say by Morgana's magic. Guinevere ran away in horror that her son had been killed and during the grieving of losing his son and potentially his wife as well, King Arthur was seduced by Morgana, which led to the creation of Mordred. That's in some stories. It differs quite a lot, but it's always interesting to read. New ability, pacify. Turn a nearby creature friendly. Sounds good enough. And so they leave the keep of Marus, but Sir Lancelot is constantly looking over his shoulder. You know, I don't blame you. I don't trust Morgana. No, no, I understand. She's an ability. But what's the call or written to fight? Okay, that sounds good. We'll change it. New hero discovered. Woo! Queen Morgana Le Fay, Arthur's half-sister, the cruel witch. But I am all out of time today, folks. So... With the introduction into this game, which is, I absolutely love the art style, the music, the ambience, I really, really love it. I really do. And I love how they're doing their own take on the Arthurian legends, which I am a huge fan of. I've been reading the books since I was little. I try to watch as many movies and, you know, I try to get as much material as I can based on the Arthurian legends. Because I just find it fascinating. I don't know why, but I love it. Some say it's a myth, some say it's a legend, and some say there was actually a real person called King Arthur. And there are places in Britain where it is debatable, to say the least. But it does have, you know, it's still, it's still there. Anyway, so we have delved into Queen Guinevere's beginning, of which I completely screwed up. We have delved into Lancelot's start, but I do not want to go any further at the moment because this game just came out and I don't want to spoil it for anyone. So folks, if you want to see more reviews like this, please think of donating a copy to me. The link is in the description below. I will also post the store page for this amazing game by Inkley, Inkay. LTD in the description as well so you can buy it yourself or alternatively wishlist it as well if you're still on the fence about the game again thank you so so much for the um, PR for getting in touch with me you have no idea how much I love Alphorian Legends um, I'm 
I love the style of the characters. I really do. But I would love to know how old these characters are at the moment. Because I'm so used to reading about them and they're in their like 20s, 30s. But they seem a little older in this one. So I'd just like to know where we are. But I see anything I have. Um, aside from me accidentally getting Gwyneth killed, this has been an amazing experience. I didn't mean to get Gwyneth killed in the slightest. Anyway, again, thank you so, so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next review. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.